So the customer says, I don't want a boring list. I want my list to look great. How can we do that? With field customizers. So we're going to take a look at field customizers. My name's Rob, let's dive straight in. So as you can see, my list I've created has got some ages uh, in here. Now, this looks quite good and we know that with JSON formatting now, it's quite easy to kind of manipulate the look and feel of a list, but we can also do it using a field customizer, SharePoint extension. So uh, I'm gonna show how to do that. Notice our column is called age. It can look like this, but with our field customizer, it looks a lot nicer like that. Okay, so how did we do this? Well, let's have a look at the code. So I've created a customizer and this is again the sample source code for this is all up on github if you look in the uh, link below just like the previous episodes now as we go through this we can see that we've got a field customizer in here and this when generated using yeoman gives us some out of the box functions like on init on render cell and on dispose cell okay what we can also set in here is we can set our elements file to show what kind of field we're looking at now to the box it gives us a number so i've stuck with that let's see what else we can do in the serve i've got it so it points to the url of my list i've created so i'm going to all items spx but the most important thing to look at is the name of the field that this customizer refers to so to see what we're overriding if you look at this we can see it's got the field customer applies to a field called age on there and i've also put that down here as well so it says when it finds a field called age it will apply this to it what will it apply well, as it renders it, you'll notice that it adds some styles that I've set. And if you look in the um, SAS file, we've got this one progress bar field customizer collection. We've got the cell and we've got this one called full, which sets the width to 100 pixels. When I look into the code, we basically say when you render the cell, then simply uh, set the inner HTML to be the field customizer for that div for the full for that div and then we do a div which is the width and notice i've used the width is the actual value so in this case when it's got the age i've set the width to that out of 100 all right if you're over 100 this may not work very well and then it sets the field value in there so let's put this all together and we're going to run it using gulp serve Do I want to load debug scripts? Yes, I do. And there we can see it's rendering it using our progress bar. How did it do the progress bar again? Well, we had the background as 100 pixels and we had it with a gray color. Then we set in the code the div with the width there as the age. So in this case, we've got 52, 45 and 36 and it set the color in there. We could of course set this to be a style as well. So the basic principles of a field customizer are it has the field name and then when it renders, it overrides that using whatever you've set in your on render cell. So there's lots you could do with a field customizer. I'm sure you could think of. As I said, the JSON formatting now on a list, on a modern list, probably does everything that you want, but this is a good alternative just in case you wanted to do your own custom controls. Well, I hope you found that brief tutorial useful. Join us next time when we'll be looking a bit more at SharePoint extensions. If you haven't done already, please click subscribe and the like notification. I'll see you next time.